This video is an instructional video on how to use the Panda Warmer for the emergency department. There's a couple things I want to orient you to first. Uh, first, the bed needs to be plugged in for it to work, so plug it into one of the red outlets. The next piece is the power button. Once the baby is expected to come, you need to turn it on so that the bed can warm. It does take a few minutes for it to start. Once you've turned the bed on and you're expecting a baby, it will automatically be in warm-up mode, meaning it'll be warm once the baby comes out. Um, if the baby has not already been born, mom is rolling into the ED, as soon as you hear someone say baby out, click admit baby. This will also turn the heater power on to 100%, uh, but you want to make sure that you have the temperature probe hooked in to connect to the baby's liver area. If you hear this sound, you can swipe your hand, that'll silence it, or push the yellow silence button. Ideally, you'll have everything ready before the baby comes and the support of the code STORK team. But if you don't, some things you want to have ready are a baby's hat, the temperature probe, and also a thermometer. The temperature probe, plug the black end into the bed here. The probe is at the bottom and you'll need the sticker to cover the probe. The probe goes directly against the baby's body, ideally in the liver area. The baby will be kind of wet when it comes out, so you might have to dry that area before placing the temperature probe. Once you've placed the temperature probe, you'll see that the baby's temp is now being read. Push this button next to mode to move to baby. You want to move it to baby so that the bed can regulate itself. If the baby's cold, it'll warm up. If the baby's hot, it'll cool down. But that cannot be done unless it's in baby mode. You should also set the temp to between 36.5 and 37. 36.5 is the best method. Once you do that, it'll regulate itself up and down, like I said, to cool or uh, warm the baby. For the temperature probe, the black piece must be plugged in here into the bed. To move the bed up or down, you can use these feet pedals here to adjust to your height if necessary. You can also take down the side panels if you need to get into the bed, but once you're finished moving the baby into the bed or adjusting yourself, be sure to put them up. This helps keep the warm air inside of the bed. Baby's come out and is now brought to the bed. Please place the head facing away from the monitor. That way when the code stork team comes, the provider can be at the head of the bed to resuscitate the baby if necessary. When the baby comes out, it should be placed on blankets and you should dry and stim. So dry the baby off as much as possible gently and stimulate them to breathe. You can tickle their feet, pluck them slightly, and rub their back. As soon as you use that towel, lift them up and remove the wet one from underneath so they don't get cold and repeat the same process. Drying and stimming, drying and stimming. You've heard that baby is out, push APGAR on and off. Once you turn it on, it'll start counting up towards a minute and so on so that you or the provider can assign APGAR scores to the baby. This is very important. So while you're drying and stimming and waiting for the code stork team to come, take note of the baby's color, their tone, are they floppy, are they rigid, are they crying, are they not crying? They'll ask you all these questions when they come down. If the baby has already been born prior to them coming into the ED, there's a few questions you should ask the EMS team. One, what is the gestational age of the baby? Two, um, what are the AFGAR scores they've assigned to the baby? And three, at what time was the baby born? Keep in mind that respiratory therapy for the NICU will be here to support you. So this area here is what they'll be taking care of. There's specific um, oxygen requirements and things of that nature for babies, so they'll handle this. There will also be resuscitation equipment available and hooked up to this. If you ever need more, just go to the colored pediatric cart to pull out what you need. If you ever need to give baby CPR, there should be two people at each side. You can either use this method where the thumbs are between the breastplate and compress, or you can use a two-finger method. 